Climate Cocoa Board, in collaboration with the Ministry of Employment and Social Welfare, has over years implemented community sensitisation campaigns through the use of dramas and rallies, with the aim of educating farming communities in an effort to curb all worst forms of child labour, such as exposing children to agrochemicals, engaging children in breaking of cocoa pods with knives, and working on farms in isolation in cocoa growing communities. After years of significant strides in changing farmers' attitude towards the use of children in hazardous farming activities, Cocoa Board stepped up with a firm commitment to control the child labour menace by introducing child education support programme with a seed fund of 2 million Ghana cities to commence the provision of various educational supports in deprived cocoa communities to enhance access to basic education. A five-member implement committee was set up by the Board of Directors to facilitate the planning and implementation of the Cocoa Board Child Education Support Programme. You shouldn't be a deprived child just because your, your parents are cocoa farmers. That is, uh, livelihood opportunities from, for children include going to school. Now, very unfortunately, cocoa farms are scattered more often than not, very remote. And they are cluster of villages deep into the farmlands where the children have to walk very long distances to be able to assess school facilities. Our KG unit is a muddy structure of which when it rains, the children cannot have classes there. So immediately rain is coming, we have to close the children down. Or uh, we have to move them to the upper classroom to compare with the other classes and classes will stop. Communities earmarked to benefit from this programme are mainly deprived cocoa growing communities in Ghana that are faced with serious educational infrastructural challenges, making room for parents to take the wards to farm instead of sending them to school. Currently, we have about uh, 450 pupils in the school. But previously, about three years ago, it was around 600 thereabout. At this time, uh, the enrollment has gone down because of the structure. The district office of the Cocoa Health and Extension Division, CHED, or any other division subsidiary liaises with leaders of cocoa communities to receive applications from them. Applications may animate from a recognised chief of a traditional area, the chief farmer, the unit committee chairman of a community acting together. On receipt of application, the district chair office begins a process to ascertain whether the request is a pressing need of the cocoa grown community in question or not. Certified applications are forwarded to the Cocoa Board Child Education Committee for further action. Volume of cocoa production, prospects of high cocoa production community, number of adjoining communities, poor state of existing school buildings, number of children in the communities, catchment population and distances covered before accessing a school, among others, are determining factors in granting a request. The project is wholly funded by the Ghana Cocoa Board. However, chief farmers, district education directories and district assemblies are engaged at various levels of the programme. The 2015-16 crop year, at least 16 public basic schools in deprived cocoa communities in the country have been earmarked for construction under the first phase of the programme. Award of contract is done in accordance with the procurement laws of Ghana. The Cocoa Board Child Education Support Programme is expected to be implemented over five years to ensure rapid infrastructural development in some selected cocoa communities in the country. The Civil Works Department of Cocoa Board, working together with various district assemblies, supervises and monitors the projects to a successful completion. We provided a six-unit classroom block that has a crash as a six-unit classroom or primary school, depending on the environment. Some environment may want um, a junior high school. In the next five years, Ghana Cocoa Board is optimistic that those factors that hinder basic education delivery in cocoa communities would be removed to promote education necessary to develop the human resource base in cocoa communities.